Hello, I'm Peter Donoghue and I come from England and I'm, I'm here for, I think, at least my fifth visit to Seoul and as always it's a great pleasure to play for the Korean audiences and to be here. Most pianists, particularly pianists, but actually also violinists, cellists and so on, we have a tendency to um, ignore the music from Britain and that includes British artists. Generally speaking, we are quite reticent about our own greatness um, and also the composers from the 20th century in particular have tended to be a little bit more old-fashioned than composers from Europe, uh, particularly Germany. Um, and around the world. As a result of that conservatism, they tended not to be recognised in European countries outside Britain. And in the 1960s, the British composers suddenly became extremely revolutionary, as if they were reacting against the past. And of course, as always, it reflected the society, because British society changed gigantically at that time as well. And art, even if the artists don't realise it, Art always reflects the society and its changes. Um, I'm very proud of them all. I think, I think they're very fine composers and we should be exposing them more than we do. It's, it's always very difficult to say what is the most memorable time in a particular place because one, of course, tries to make them all memorable in different ways not just from concerts, but also from visits to schools and giving some private lessons, as I have done here as well, is how much interest there is in music from a younger generation, uh, which is much more than it is in the UK. So many people study the piano and the violin and so many other instruments and are so culturally aware, musically aware, so many people want to go to concerts who are really very young and it's extremely rewarding to play to that kind of audience. Not only Korea, there are some other countries in Asia that are the same, of course, but I suspect Korea leads the way because the, the, the level of um, technical expertise and training amongst very young people in Korea is really fantastic. I'm amazed every time I come, amazed again each time. A piano is obviously in the ideal world, it's an extension of yourself. It's the instrument through which the music passes through the performer into the instrument and then out to the listener. So it, 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 it should feel as if it's part of you, I think. You can't take your own uh, around the place, although I know that there are those who do, but I think they're omitting the fact that everywhere they go, they've got a different concert hall. So if the, if the hall is different, the piano will sound different. So there's actually no point. Uh, in my estimation. I think it's much more important that the piano is part of the hall and is, is configured and toned and adjusted to the hall that, it's, that it lives in. And so wherever I go, I try to make the best of the particular instrument. Um, and it, it's, it's to raise the level, really, of everything around you. The last thing you should do is, is ever be critical or disappointed in anything at all because it is the way it is and it's, it, you need, your job is to make it give of its best and to exploit the, exploit the, the different characters wherever you are. Well, when you think about how you would like to be remembered, it's rather important that actually it doesn't really matter. You don't matter as an individual artist. What matters is the music itself. And I try to avoid any feeling that it's about ego and that actually in some way I want to be a star that's re remembered for that. I don't like that at all. Um, but I do love to be remembered as someone who loves music and who shared it with the listeners. That's a paraphrase of, a fra of something Stravinsky said, that he was the vessel through which the music came. 
I feel that much the same about um, my performances. I, I am the vessel through which the music comes from the composer to the people listening. And that's all I am. It's all I want to be.